What's up, mother wreckers? That's my best friend, that's my best friend. Best friend. Big old booty bitch, 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 b
No, seriously, like, I mean, I understand, you know, being mad for, like, a couple hours, but let it go. Make a make it a goal to not go to sleep mad at your partner. Like, I mean, that's still I fucking, have not even gotten to that stage yeah. yet. I can't stay mad at her. I just, <laughs> I don't know why. Like, she can do the worst thing ever. I don't even know, like, I don't know. But I cannot stay mad at her, like... I look at her and I just be like, oh, you get on my freaking nerves. Okay. All right, we're done. Can we just, can you talk to me now? Like, can we go ahead and get over this? Can we talk about what's going on? Give me a hug, you know. I personally have changed a little bit. I could stay mad at somebody for like six years. <laughs> but, um, I mean, you know. She, she's slowly, you know. I've lightened up, like now, Depending on how mad I am at her, she can look at me and laugh and then I can just be <coughs> Yeah. But definitely let stuff go. Especially if it's not severe like you forgot to take the trash out. What am I going to be mad at you for four days about it for? Right. Being mad is not going to solve anything besides make you miserable. You got to learn to let stuff go. Letting stuff go is a big, big thing. Oh, um, <laughs> another thing. <laughs> so many people have so many different rules in their relationship. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. ridiculous. Like, this is my wife. This is also my friend. So it's like, if we walk it down the street, and, you know, I mean, if we see a cute dude, a cute girl, we look, we like, hey, man. As long as she don't OD, because sometimes. I mean, I'm not going to, hold on, wait. <laughs> I might be like, man, look. look at, we'll look, but we don't touch. Right. <laughs> and I'll be like, Ray, look, look, she cute. Yeah, she is. And all that, you can't talk to this person, and I don't want you talking to that person, and you can't go out, like, I don't, I don't, there's no rules. Like, I'm not her mom. I've been through a relationship where I made all these rules, and the person that I was with broke all the rules. <laughs> like, when you have rules, rules are going to be broken. I, I just feel like... When you have rules like that, they're... Be oh yeah, like I know a, a girl who got mad because her boyfriend took a picture with his cousin on Facebook. She said the only girl you should be taking pictures with is me, but it's his cousin. <laughs> like people are so like I guess territorial. Is that what it is? Yeah, like I don't, I don't. You're dating them. You don't own them. Like it's, I mean, it's a respect thing too. So it'll drive you crazy. Um, another thing is, remember to date no matter how long you've been together. Like, meaning, if you've been together 20 years, you should all... You, we try to go on a date once a month. Now, that doesn't always necessarily happen. I mean, okay, okay, wait. We try to go on a, like, dress up, go out, sit down. Dinner, you know, movie, dinner, movie, hotel, hotel type, yeah. type thing, every month. Um, and, I mean... Every weekend, we try to at least go out, grab a bite to eat, chill out, but you know. If, I mean, it's not people who can't afford it. You can date inside of your house. You can make a nice meal right. with candles and music in the house. You can have a picnic in the house. You can decide you want to have a movie night. Things right. like that. Just make sure you date. Don't lose that. Don't lose that That fire that that, that y'all had when y'all first got together. That first, exactly. that first couple, six months that y'all were in that honeymoon phase, what they call it. Don't lose that. Still remember why you got together and you, have if you, fun. If you lose that five years down the line, you don't. If you have nothing to look forward to. You have nothing to be surprised for. You have nothing to make you happy. And that's something that we had to work on because it just got to a point where we would get off work, go home, watch the same shows. During the weekend, we would sit at home, do nothing, and I was just like, "Why am I so miserable?" And I think I had to realize I'm just bored. Yeah. So, so we had to sit down and figure out, like, okay. Once a month, we have to have fun, do something that we both enjoy. Yeah. So, and Groupon is like our best friend. So yes, we we, I mean, we find random stuff on Groupon that we've never done before, and we like, oh, and, you know what? And do different things because doing the same thing over and over again is going to get boring. Yeah. So, like we do, we go on Groupon, we find like five to twenty-five dollar Groupons, and we do different things every time. Yeah. So we go to the shooting range, we go to <laughs> paint pottery. Paint Paint, paint pottery, paint balling, like all of this stuff. Canvases, like different different things, you yeah. know, the the Ferris wheel. You know, that's what it's called. It's called the, 
What's that thing downtown? The sky high, whatever. The sky will. Whatever it's called. It's <laughs> in the middle of downtown. Like, we just do random stuff that, I mean, it's cheap. Why not just enjoy it and have fun? We'll have a nice, different. nice little dinner after or before. Um, be vocal. If something is bothering you, speak up about it. Don't make your partner guess what is wrong with you. Exactly. I, I <laughs> no for real. Like so many people struggle with that. Like <clears throat> he should just know, or she should just know. No, you don't always know what what your partner wants. You got to speak on it. Cause and, like it's so many times that I have no idea what the freak she's thinking, and I'm just like, yo, what is wrong? Nothing. No, something's wrong. Like you're not talking to me. You're snappy. You're upset. Something's going on. Just speak on it. If you speak on it, we can get the issue resolved and we won't have to worry about this any further. Right. If you don't speak on it and you make me guess, I'm thinking everything I'm doing is perfectly fine not, and I'm not bothering and you. I don't, and I, I'm pretty sure, well, let me say this. You don't know what to change if you don't know what you're doing wrong. Right. So give your partner, your spouse, the chance to change their actions before you count them out. Um... It may seem like you're nagging or complaining, which she had a problem with before, but she never now has to guess what's wrong with me. Right. I'm going to be vocal about it. Like, don't wait till it's all built up and it's a, you have a ball of anger and you just blow up on somebody. Right. Tell them what the problem is at that moment. That way they know, okay, she or he doesn't like this. Let me figure out how to fix it. Right. Don't have them guess. It's not fair. And I'm not saying like every time your partner does something like just Oh, that that irks me. No, I mean you could you could let it go once. Maybe twice. But after that third time, you're like, okay, well this is a constant thing. It's And don't hey, when you do this it, it, it kinda of bothers me. You don't want to nitpick though. You have, to, you have like, to realize you know. that your spouse has their own special little quirks and traits that may bother you, but it's them. And if you change it, they won't be them. Right. So things like she does, she has a lot of interesting habits that drive me crazy. But if I changed it, she wouldn't be hurt. So and, and along with that, if you like, if you nitpick, your spouse will never do it. Be be your spouse will never want to do anything around you. Or your significant other would never want to do anything around you. It's like, well, I know this bothers her or him, so I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm not going. I'm gonna make sure I don't do this, do this, do this, do this. And it's like, well, what can you do around that person? Right. You can't be yourself at all around that person now because everything you do bothers them. So you might as well just break up. So that that also goes back to compromising. You like, you gotta, you gotta know what you can live with and what you can't. So, um, don't let family come between you. Um, we already spoke a little bit about that in the beginning um, because your family is always going to take you typically it's always going to take your side over your partners um, we've had instances where my family has disliked her and we all know the story about her family not being able to stand me whatsoever not even in their presence but if we let that come between us, we wouldn't be together right, right. now. Um, so yeah, simple as that. Don't let your family come between. Unless it's like a really big issue, like you're getting beat on or cheated on. All right. Don't let your family, because your family's always gonna think that you can do better or want you to do better or expect you to do better or I'm with who I want to be with. Right. She's with who I she wants. Want. Right. Because I want to be with who I want to be with. And we're we're doing fine. So I don't see why. I mean, it's not happening anymore. But people didn't want us to be together in the beginning. And right. we wouldn't be where we are today without each other. So make sure you focus on your relationship. Because once you get married, this becomes your priority. This becomes your family. So, Yeah. Um, another, well, we got two more. Um, two more? Yeah, because I mean, like, we hit on it when we going through it. Um, never argue over money. Um, never argue over money. We had that issue in the beginning. It sucks. And mm -hmm. money is a big issue. Like we, In relationships. It's a huge thing. But you can't 
<clears throat> you can't let money come between you. Even if it's like the little things, like it's hard. It the struggle is real, you know. But you can't, you can't always get mad about finances or where'd you where'd you put your money here or why don't you have this or we can't afford this. You can't afford this. Work it out. Work it out together. Mm -hmm. like, Sit down. And make a budget. Don't don't say you're spending too much. You're not spending enough. Da, 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 da. Make a budget. Stick to it. Simple as that. We used to argue about money a lot. A whole lot. Because I was working a part time job and she was busting her butt and she did not like it at all. <laughs> she was making like triple what I was making and I was spending most of the money. Which I mean. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> but <coughs> the thing is, what she didn't realize is that I wasn't just spending it all on myself. She would give me the money and I would spend it on the house, buy our cat food, our cat litter, our house supplies, like those types of things. She would give me the money to buy. So. She wanted to know why I was spending too much, so much money on cleaning supplies and why are you buying the most expensive cat food and we don't argue about it. Sit down and say, okay, we don't have to get the most expensive cat food. Let's get the mid-range cat food. See what I'm saying? They can't answer that, but <laughs> don't, don't argue about money. Right. Discuss it. Talk calmly. Make a budget. Give your suggestions and I mean, listen to each other because it's not, it's never worth arguing over. If you would put this far right now, it's not worth it's, it's not know. worth arguing over. Um, oh, be supportive of your spouse. As long as it's something that they're not hurting themselves or you about, be supportive of their decisions. Um, I have the personality where if I have a conversation with somebody more than more than once or twice, I cut them off. She's very forgiving. Um, we had a mutual friend that wrote me the wrong way several times and I had to let I had to cut that thing up. She wanted to still be friends with her and it pissed me off. But I mean that's not my that's not that's not I mean what was I supposed to do? Nothing. Exactly. <laughs> like, I mean she's a I grown mean, woman. I, I mean, mean at the end of the day I'm the type of person I let stuff go. Um I don't hold grudges. I feel like I try to find a good in, 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 in every situation and in every person. So, I mean, because a situation didn't work out at that point in time, that doesn't mean that you can't revisit that situation later. Uh, and you grow from your mistakes. Uh, so, I mean, I, I'm just not that type of person. Uh, so, I mean, it but is what it things is. like that, I mean, she's not getting hurt. She's not hurting herself. It's not hurting me. So, why do I have an issue with her being friends with this person? specific person right I can only support her in that and if it falls apart be there for her right wrong um, no this is the last oh, one the last one is a really good one talk often about your future so you know what you're working for and build it towards um that's a big 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 one um if you have no future with that person <laughs> why are you with that person if you can't if you can't sit down and say hey in five years or 10 years or 20 years i want to be doing this I, I want to you know have a house two kids have you know that seventy thousand dollar job you know i want to retire in 20 years i want to you know have you and everything like you said it's like you have you goals because you know if you if you don't have anything to work towards you have nothing like you have nothing so it's like and i've seen people stay together for like 13 years and then they one wants a kid and one decides that they don't right then what do you do you have to sit down and make sure that you have common goals because if you don't then you're not going to get anywhere right we have similar we have the same goals we want to make money we want to have a family we want to you know be comfortable. We don't even have to be house. rich. We just want to be comfortable. We want to be wealthy. Doing well for ourselves. Exactly. So my thing is, if you get with somebody and they don't have the same goals as you, you can't change their goals. Right. You're probably in a dead end relationship, and you need to find somebody who will 
shares your goals because if you want to be rich and the person that you're with doesn't mind living in a shack then they're gonna be living off of you <laughs> and you're gonna be unhappy. and you're gonna be mad <laughs> right so it's like you gotta find like-minded individuals to be with to be with right um so yeah um that was that's that's about it if you have any other questions comments something any eligible bachelors out there hit us up we can hook y'all no, i'm just playing this ain't no dating service oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, no <laughs> uh but seriously if you uh have any questions concerns comments just drop them below or hit us up um, on our, you can email it at twomotherruckers at gmail.com. Um, It'll be right here. Did that work? Was that good? Okay. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And um, yeah, follow us on Instagram and Snapchat. And we'll see you guys later. That was a special.